What's up guys, Barry Game here, back with some more Eternal Evolution news, and today is March 12th, 2024. We have some good news, we have a new hero, and we have some information for you. So, you remember how they made SP Heroes Awakened, and I sure as heck was not happy, I'm sure most of the community was not happy either, uh, and it sounds like they heard our voices and stuff, because... Today they've posted, we are sorry, and there's a whole little post about the Caraxia Awakening explanation. It says, Dear Commanders, following the release of Caraxia Awakening, we have received a significant amount of feedback and suggestions. Many players have expressed dissatisfaction yeah, with the new system with it. Uh, we acknowledge that our previous oversight in controlling the pace of SP heroes and their Awakening materials distribution has led to dissignificant dis I mean, they're probably just see like daily active users dropping, to be honest. We sincerely apologize to this, blah, 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 blah. We've uh, always valued players. There's this whole thing going on. After carefully reviewing the feedback, we realize the importance of SP Heroes. Uh, as the pinnacle of the game strength and ultimate goal, it is an internal part or integral part of the game and every player cares deeply about uh, therefore in response to the expectations of our players and to foster a healthier and more stable game environment uh, we have decided to significantly reduce the difficulty for all players to acquire sp heroes and provide more ways to get them for free that's really good why it wasn't like that once the second one came out and it took all the way to the third and the awakening of sps just is mind-boggling i can understand the very first hero of its kind being you know very premium and expensive because there's no way to afk grind those resources but once that second one comes out there should already be systems in the game in order for players to get much easier ones don't tell me it's giving away astral cards because those don't give you any amount of shards really but that's my complaint. I could have told him this months ago. Due to development constraints and time limitations, we're unable to immediately introduce a completely new gameplay. However, we promptly we to promptly address player expectations, they've decided to increase the production of SP Heroes within the existing game. So, upon the release of this announcement, there is a brand new code MU55AVG that's going to give you 20 Caraxi shards kind of sucks when you already have her maxed out because they're useless and 20 astral recruitment cards which is pretty good you'll get maybe like six shards off of that <laughs> if you're lucky maybe four maybe two maybe zero that's kind of a crap shoe but we'll see uh number two they've added caraxia shard one times as a reward in hell arena shop so okay hell arena let's let's grab mr calculator out here as well as we do this so six thousand times 60 shards for a single copy 360,000 is what it is saying you need so if we come over here to the hell arena shop uh i don't know if that really helps too much i guess it does because like me i'm sitting like on an additional 141 which i guess i'll probably convert these into caraxia shards just to get a full caraxia to then use it in the dismissal shop <laughs> like i guess i'll just oh man this is so bad um oh wait hold on is it blood soaked or hell name tags Ooh, i did not even think about that hell name tags okay that's not bad then that that is more reasonable to do so but again that's still a ton that's three hundred and sixty thousand that you're gonna need that's not an easy thing you might have to skip trophies if that's what you're looking to get next up after that it says add Corexia soul crystal nucleus shards as a reward from the hell arena shop as well these will be 40 blood soak name tags oh, that is a little brutal right there because again those are the blood soaked ones i mean i don't know about you but even as me playing i don't have enough to get like all the trophies every season and i'm waiting to get this pvp one i guess if you don't care about like hell arena specifically but again, if you get better at Hell Arena, you're going to have more Hell name tags and Blood Soak name tags. And that means you're going to be able to get more stuff. So, um, yeah, I guess I don't know if that means we're not. I'm not buying these 40 out right here anymore. If I'm not buying the season unique ones, I don't know. But all I do know is start saving those up. 
says we are committed to introducing additional events and gameplay features to further facilitate the swift acquisition of sp heroes for players i mean there's one thing that could have been really really easy but we'll talk about that in a minute furthermore we will enhance the production of other rare items including limited recruitment cards awakening materials gene hybrids and mythic runes to expedite the process of building heroes in conclusion we sincerely apologize for any impact of the game experience blah 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 yeah 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 okay game um, so yeah, I think I've already done a couple hundred, uh, astral that I've had left over and I'm only halfway to a single nucleus for this hero. The fact that you have to pick kind of stupid, like it should just be added to the pool of what other hero you want to pick. The fact that you have to pick between these two categories, I think is just the stupidest thing in the world. They should have just added it to the list of items. Like, they should have just added it. Get rid of all these. Like, I don't understand why we're getting rare heroes in Astral. That, again, is beyond my recognition or what I can think of. But, yes, we are going to be getting some upgrades. So, at least there is that. Um, yeah, so we should see that coming with this week coming up. The update that we're receiving. And with that update, we should be receiving a brand new SSS level ass Atlas Vanguard hero called Zane. Uh, he's coming soon. Zane can charge for towards enemies, dealing damage, and affecting uh, infected targets receive the fate mark. Damage received from Atlas heroes is increased with that fate mark. If the target is revived during the mark's duration, then after revival, its max HP is reduced. So that's kind of similar to what um, Artemis does and stuff. It says mass control. I don't know about that. It counter revival, kind of, sort of. Uh, charge and a taunt feature so that is interesting and that will be uh, coming out this week as well and again another code for you guys good luck one so you got two codes coming to you today and again this code will be good until march 14th which is pretty much when he goes live now he looks interesting uh definitely looks cool kind of like shark or i don't i don't even know kind of more like, more like a bug i guess we don't even know what to say about it but um yeah he looks pretty cool the image in the post is the initial design uh we have a most recent model for you okay that looks a lot cooler yeah i would say that is a huge improvement going from this which is like really really rough art design to that that's actually not that bad i actually think that's kind of cool uh another vanguard heroes aka pvp only and uh bug boss only <laughs> essentially what vanguards have turned into uh but yeah so there's two codes again remember make sure you use that good luck one that one i think gives you some astral recruitment cards and some other stuff the big one though is the mu55 agv i really think it's sucky that they didn't just send this in the mail in game to be honest um because it's such a big big deal of what they're giving and they could have just given it to everybody in all their mail but uh sure i guess they want people to follow their socials so make sure you guys hit that subscribe button if you haven't done it just yet and make sure you guys get all this information and i'll see you guys next time